Hi, this is Christy Whitman with the Quantum Success Show, where you can get your information and inspiration to create your desires. And this show, this episode, is actually in response to comments that I received on the How Do You Tune Into Your It and Your All episode. Jim and several other people had put in a question of, you know, once you realize that you have this emotional set point, maybe it's about the, the kind of money you make or the set point that you have about receiving love. You know, we talked about that allowing meter. If you didn't watch that episode, I definitely recommend go back and watch it. How do you change the set point? So if you find that you're at this set point that you can't seem to break through how much money you make, how do you change the set point? Well, it's always about energy. So if you have a set point, you can definitely feel that set point because you can feel because there's tension there. So whenever you feel a point of tension, meaning you have your thoughts that are going just to what you don't want, the minute you start shifting from what you don't want to what you do want, process that I've talked about on the show before and it so works all the time, is ask yourself these three questions. What do I want? When you're focused on the negativity, when you're focused on what you don't have, when you're focused on, oh, there's like resistance there, what do I want? Why do you want it? I recommend taking out a piece of paper and writing down a ton of reasons why you want something. Because the minute, the moment that you start getting into that feeling place of why you want something, that starts the energetic relationship with the things that you want to come into being. You know, Abraham Hicks says that it takes about 68 seconds to actually shift a vibration. And once that 68 seconds is over, law of attraction starts going into action to literally magnetize to you the things that you want. So if you can spend time focusing on the why, that why gets you focused on such an energetic level, that starts bringing those things to you as long as you don't Mix, mismatch the signal. So what do you want? Why do you want it? And then how do you think you're going to feel? Because remember, no matter what you have, no matter what you want, when you think that once you change that set point, that you're going to be making a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, million, it doesn't matter. The number doesn't matter. More money per month or the amount of love or support or whatever your set point is on any given thing, when you get that new set point, when you come from that bigger, greater, expanded, abundant space, how do you think you're gonna feel? Make that your intention all day, every day. If you need to put post-it notes up on your mirrors and on your computer and in your car and focus on that one essence word, whether it's abundance or success. And when you see that, put an alarm on your phone when it comes up for you, take 68 seconds to close your eyes and feel what that energy feels like in your body. Doing that several times a day and shifting your vibration in that way definitely will shift your set point. You don't have to do one big long two hour meditation every single morning doing these little connection points, doing these little vibrational razors all throughout the day keeps you consistently in alignment with what you do want. And remember, it's consistency that allows you to attract what you want. So many people say, well, I'm focused on what I want. Either they're focused on the lack of it or they've got split energy. In another episode, I'm gonna talk about split energy. But for now, just know that you can change your set point by focusing on what you want, why you want it, and how you want to feel. Another thing I want to give to you today, which is really important, is that we are energy. And it's really important for us to be able to feel our energy, to feel the pulsations that go off of our body. And each emotion that we have is all in our emotional body. This is our this is our where our emotions lie. That's where the pulsation, the energy that goes out into the universe. Joy has a very different pulsation and energy than anger or frustration. There's high 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 energy and vibrations and low 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 and there's a whole spectrum in between. But how you release a set point is you have to release the energy around that particular subject. 
So for example, you have something that comes up as far as money and you're frustrated because you don't have enough. Go into your belly, go into your energetic center and find and feel your own energy. This is gonna require that you slow down and come back to yourself. But go inside and feel the pulsation, feel the rhythm. And what happens as you're going inside your own self and you're feeling the energy, you don't have to name it, you don't have to blame it, you don't have to create a story around it, just feel the energy, become one with that energy. And as you do, what happens, it's like a wave in an ocean. The wave gets bigger, 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 and then it starts to dissipate. What happens is you start to feel that energy and it might get more and more intense. You might start feeling really, really angry or really, really frustrated or really, really joyful. Then it's gonna increase its intensity and then it's gonna go because it does take about 90 seconds to actually process the energetic experience of an emotion. So that's another way to set a shift a set point is not only from the mind and how you think and thinking different thoughts, finding a better feeling thought, that's another option. But this process is so good, no matter what tension you have in your life, go into that, find the energy. All time is simultaneously, your past, your present, your future all exist right now. And if you still have energy, for anger from something that happened five days ago, a year ago, five years ago, 20 years ago, it's still pulsating in your body. Get into that pulsation, ride the wave, let it go. This does take skill, I just wanna tell you, it's a practice. Feel that and then your set point will definitely change on any given subject, I promise you. So, let me know, what are you taking away from this? Gave you lots of great tools in this video. Please let me know. How do you plan on shifting your set point? Thank you so much and have a great week. So as always, the best discussions happen after the episode at christywhitman.com where you can join my community, which I call my family. You'll receive free teleseminars, webinars, eBooks, videos, and much more just by being part of the community. Did you like this video? Then subscribe and share it with everybody you know check out these other related videos to help you get inspired and informed.